Hi, I'm Seth. And I'm John C. Together with our son, Eman, and our dog, Luna, we're going on adventures and remodeling a Shasta. Previously on Seth and John C. <laughs> on our last Shasta video, you saw us doing our last demolition where we took down the front wall and destroyed the kitchen by removing the countertops. Today we're gonna install a countertop and do something else. What else are we doing? That's it. Painting? Putting the kitchen back together. Oh, yeah, that. So, let's go. Here's one of us. They're really rusted. Before we cut down our countertop, we have to finish creating the new frame. Easily one of the most annoying sounds in the world. Our new countertop is thicker than our old countertop, so I have to trim down all of this cabinet framing about a half an inch. Added a little bit of extra support there and finished the side pieces for our countertop. That's gonna be the support for the little piece that goes in there. Luckily, we kept our old countertop. So we have a template for how to cut the new one. We are cutting it slightly different. This is flush with the cabinets and we want it to overhang a little bit, but this section right here goes under the stove. So we need, we're going to reverse this. This is gonna pop out, this is gonna go in. Putting a brand new ultra finish saw blade on our saw. Hopefully we get a good clean cut. This cutoff piece should be enough material to cover the behind the stove area. Biscuit joint there. I watched enough Norm Abrams to know there's a biscuit joint. And wear safety goggles. And to wear safety goggles. I don't think we told you, but this is a pre-stained piece of teak from Home Depot. It's $159 and it needs to be oiled, but it's already stained. So we ordered oil, but it's not here yet. The UPS guy just came and brought us our oil. Um, it's a lot smaller than we thought it was gonna be, but it should still be enough. This was 27 bucks, guys, for this much oil. So apparently this hard wax oil is super expensive. Okay, if you're gonna route it, that's deep enough to go with that saw. So we cut our notch and we're gonna trim a little bit off of this edge that goes underneath the oven. All right, got a new blade and the old jigsaw. I'm gonna do some sign.
Now your only problem now is getting it under there. And you're really close. What's happening? I'm gluing this piece of wood back together. Obviously. Why? It broke, it just snapped. As I had it clamped over here, I was gonna make this cut here and it just snapped. It just snapped. Who knew countertops were so challenging? I thought we'd just like cut it to size and slide it right in. But apparently it's an all day process and I still need to paint before you can put the back wall on or install this all the way. It is quite the process. We're like getting down to the finishing touches, but one thing has to happen for another thing to happen to have another thing happen, but those things can't happen until this thing happens. It's, it's exciting. <laughs> Slightly better. Mm -hmm. Y'all ever put glue all over your hand in elementary school so you could peel it off because it was so satisfying? Or is that just me? I just cleaned off the shelves that go into the kitchen cabinet and now I'm going to spray paint them black. I know that's kind of weird, but the rest of our kitchen is going to be dark gray on the bottom and I don't have that paint pot yet, so I'm just going to paint the shelves inside black. First coat down, we'll do the second coat in a little bit. Okay, I'm just trying to clean this garbage off of here. Well, Seth's busy working on the countertop. I need to figure out what to do with some holes in the wall. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We've got these three holes down here and then a hole up here. The wood glue and then taping this on to create a patch so I can put filler into the holes. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's what I'm trying. Equal parts. I'm just using a chopstick tester. Black and white makes gray. Black and white makes gray. Scrape stuff in. We got a new sink and we're gonna work on installing it. I messed up at one spot because it got a little crazy, but I think when we put the sink on, it still covered the mess up. So I think it's gonna be okay, but I'm a little bit sad because it's not perfect. But I guess that's how we'll know I made it. We have finally done all of our cuts and it's time to oil this stuff. Um, I'm just gonna pour a little bit on the top and then brush it on. Should I paint this? Go 
got supports in for the countertop. Hang in here. The neighbor made us some clutch blocks. We can screw in these clutch blocks where there aren't pocket holes. All right, we got way more screws than we need for the countertop. I think it's ready to go in. I have something exciting to share with you. This is Luna's two year anniversary for living with us. Luna, you've lived with us for two years. What are the different ways we're connecting the countertop? Screwing it. So we're gonna use some official Craig pocket screws that came with the Craig jig and some, I don't know, screws that I found. I am trying to install this shelving with a contact paper. cords in here so we do want to be able to access those. I'm just gonna put a couple screws in there. We can unscrew it and access those as needed. See ink is going in. It's gonna be so cool. Blah blah blah. Boom. It's a much deeper sink. Pretty exciting. We only had to lose one drawer. Yeah, but that's okay because we're gonna turn it into one of those that goes bloop and like holds your cleaning like sponge and stuff, which- How does it go? Bloop. Our kitchen is really close to looking like a kitchen and I'm pretty excited. We're still gonna do the backsplash, the trim, doors and drawers, and we're done so. Next to here. propane light that's still taped and we got a counter <laughs> how do you feel Seth it feels good it feels like we like built a thing cool. instead of destroyed a thing progress. what it's my actual progress it's it's nice this sink looks beautiful I love it I'm so excited next time it's gonna be a wall here well, the last wall install. We installed our countertop, I'm so excited. So, another one's gone. All right. Thank you for joining us on installing our counter. If you liked this video, give it a like. Subscribe. Bye. Bye. This is banana countertop. And we're amazing, and watch your channel. Okay, bye. Finally happened. Wearing a t-shirt while working on the Shasta. Well, not quite, not quite level. Good enough. Our son's playing the saxophone, can you hear him? Do you recognize the song?